Hello, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to set up Google Webmaster Tools through the Google Analytic code and then also making sure your Google Analytics and Webmaster Tools accounts are synced and I'll explain why you should do that here in a second. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and open up your Webmaster Tools account. There is a button over here that allows you to add a site. This is the site I'm going to be adding today. I then hit continue it's asking me my recommended method for being able to verify that I actually own the account. I'm going to do an alternative method and use my Google Analytics. I'm going to then hit the verify button. Um, it says that if we does not have the Google Analytic method is not associated with your Google Analytics account. Verify the ownership. So if it's not associated with your Analytics account, you need to make sure that you go in and do that. If it's not, um, if you're not the owner, um, it won't allow you to do that. So what I then need to do is come over here. This is the account that I have that is the owner. So I will then open up Webmaster Tools. I will add a site. I will then come into Alternative Method and Google Analytics. It then says, now that I am the verified owner, congratulations. I'll hit Continue. Uh, what I then will do is I will come down and user and site owners. I will then add a new user with either restricted or full. Again, if you need more information, you can click here on what the difference is. I will then put in the email address that I need and hit add. <clears throat> I will then come back into Google Analytics. What I will then do is come to the same dashboard that I need to go to. It's called admin. Uh, you then come into the property, click on property settings. I then will hit the down at the bottom Webmaster Tools settings. There is an edit button. It then will allow me to open up Webmaster Tools. If your site is not listed here, it's because you haven't seen, uh, you're not in the same account. You have to have the same account, uh, the ownership of both. So you then click Save. You're about to save a new association. Any other associations will be removed. You then hit OK. The value that you then will see is, I just set this up as a new account, so you're not going to see much information here, but you would be able to see, once it's set up, uh, the queries. So here you can already tell, it's uh, 11 queries have already shown up, so this tells you the amount of impressions, the number of time any URL from your site appeared in search results, and it was it in the paid AdWords search impressions, uh, the amount of people that have clicked on those results, and what your average position is. So obviously this is very small information because we haven't had this running for very long, but you can see they've had 66 impressions with zero clicks. So just gives you an opportunity to see the queries um, from Webmaster Tools. Hopefully that answers that question. If you have any more, leave them in the comments below.